You know HTC Vive from VR Gaming? Let's check out what they have for virtual production. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and b and I'm here at NAB 2023 with Tim Wen from Vive Mars, marketing manager. Tim, I'm blown away by the sight of this setup. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, sure. I'd like to tell you. So this is the Vive Mars Cam Track. It's a uh, camera tracking solution that's optimized for virtual production. Uh, you know that uh, the, the, the VR pucks that everybody has been using, uh, we have put it on top of a camera and optimized it for this virtual production. It, it's a very simple setup. It uses two base stations and uh, then it streamed in the IR data to our uh, tracker, then give to, to our Mars module, and then streamed it into your PC. And can you tell me a little bit about it? Why is uh, Vive even going into that realm? Oh, yeah. So on, in the very early stages of virtual production, everybody was using our Vive tracker to repurpose it onto uh, cameras. And we saw that trend and then we looked into it like, is there a way we can help out in this community and make something that's a little bit more affordable, uh, simple to use, and portable? And that's what we came up with, Mars Cam Track. So, how, what is the data that you're transmitting into the system for you know, virtual production? So, obviously, positioning with your puck and base stations. What else? The data is uh, also, so yeah, you have the data that uh, positional data that streaming into uh, any kind of format like protocol like uh, um, Unreal and LiveLink and also 3D protocol. Recently we have the uh, Mars Fizz track and that streamed in the data for uh, lens parameters like uh, zoom, focus, and iris. And is that also a follow focus? Uh, you would have to power the the lens, and then our lens encoder read the barrel angle for, to stream into Unreal. How do you calibrate uh, the lens to the tracker? Yeah, we have a very simple calibration process that we have our own calibration board, and then you would take samples of six, six picture samples of different angles. All can be done within 10 minutes. Wonderful. And I'm seeing that you have two uh, base stations here. What area do they control? Okay, so we have two base stations that come with the kit. You can do uh, five meters by five meter tracking data uh, volume. And if I want to expand that? Yeah. So if you want to expand it, you can add two more additional track uh, base stations to create 10, by, 10 meters by 10 meters. Yeah, that sounds amazing. And uh, in terms of trackers, how many trackers can I use in this system? Our current uh, Mars cam track can support up to three trackers. So you can put the trackers onto cameras, uh, lights, or the prop, or even use it at the world center. Okay, and uh, that sounds like an amazing system. I mean, uh, it's so compact, I'm standing here. Uh, what's the price on this? Oh yeah, so the price is very accessible of $5,000. And then with $5,000, you get the two uh, trackers, three rovers and the Mars module and the cam camera calibration kit. Availability-wise, can I already get this? Yeah, it's, it's available in America, Europe, and also Asia, um, China, Korea, and Japan. And just because you said before, I know you're running some kind of a bundle right now. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, we're running an Eximetry bundle sale. And then, so Eximetry is a virtual studio. And then, so that on the software side and in our camera tracking on that hardware, you can run any kind of Simucam type virtual production. And with that, we're selling that for 8920 Sound amazing. The form factor just blows me away. Stay tuned. We're going to keep walking the floor, show you some more gear and some more NAB news. Udi Tironge, DIYphotography.net, NAB 2023.